loser, we're going shopping. Hello everyone and welcome back to Keeping Up With Ken. Today is my first day of winter quarter, which is the second quarter of our year at Stanford out of three, um, even though it's a quarter four system. Today I just want to tell you guys about my last quarter, my first quarter here at Stanford, what I thought of it. Oh B, too bad you weren't invited to Nate and Tripp's lunch. How it went and then preview my second quarter here at Stanford. Um, I have a little list that I made and I will tell you guys the exact order of what I'm talking about so you can skip to a certain, you can actually see, I'll make a little guide down there. You can skip to a certain position if there's a certain thing that you wanna know about. Um, but here's the order of operations. The first one is classes I took last quarter. Second is how they went. The third is Stanford's winter plans, which is gonna be the bulk of what I talk about um, and how they are changing them, what they originally were, what fall originally was supposed to be. Um, then it's going to be my winter quarter plans, how I think my winter quarter will go. And then the sixth will be summer internships. So there are plenty of things that I have to cover in this video. So feel free to skip around if you'd like to or watch the whole thing. Again, thank you guys all for watching my channel. I love each and every one of you. And even if you don't think I read the comments, I read every comment. So please like, if you have something to say in the, you can say it in the comments and I'll be sure to read it. I promise you I do read them. To begin, the classes that I took last quarter, I was in 22 units last quarter, which is above the technical maximum that students um, in the freshman year can take. However, it was okay they allowed me to do that because technically two of those units were taken over the summer. I wasn't actually taking them the, in that quarter. So they're like, okay, it's technically 20 units, so you're gonna be fine. That's the max, the actual maximum limit for freshmen. So I was in a math class. I was taking math 20. I was taking an ESF course. They're called Education as Self-Fashioning highly recommend it if you are going to come to the school if you are interested in this school look up the esf courses best decision i've ever made so far at this school was taking esf it's a seven unit class and basically it covers all your freshman requirements in one class right it's one quarter one class seven units it was a it was a three unit class really but it was like masquerading as a seven unit class and I took that one, met a really fine group of people. I love them so much. We really bonded over that class. And yeah, that was my freshman year writing class. Then I took an introductory seminar in material science. It was about patents, super interesting, really enjoyed that class. The professor was super cool. He was very nice and gave a lot of very interesting lectures. Oh, I took a CS class, CS 106B. It's a staple class here at the university. So CS 106A is the first in the 106 series. 106B is the second. 106B is the first class that counts towards the CS major. And so because I took AP computer science in high school, I was able to take 106B and not have to take 106A first. Um, that class was super well done brilliantly taught. The professors are super duper informative. They really are helpful for students. There's lots of different resources for students who are struggling. And so I had a great time in that class. It was, yeah, very well taught online. CS classes typically are. Yeah, I was like super happy taking that one. It was my first experience with C++ in a class. I've learned C++ before, but it was my first experience in a class. And that one was just like, it was a great class. What else did I take? Let me actually look at my schedule. I'll tell you guys what else I took. Okay, that was actually all I took. So, oh, oh, edges. So EHJS, it's uh, through the Black Community Center. It's just like a mentorship program. It's two quarters long, two units each quarter. Um, super easy. They just had a couple of days that we had to get together and they wanted us to go to some just random seminars. We had a yoga seminar that I went to, a painting seminar that I went to. Like it was just a very, I don't really know how to describe it, but it was it was a nice, it was actually pretty stressful because you had to write about stuff that you learned and like each one of the little Zooms that you attended and the Zooms were only an hour long. And so it was kind of hard to write a like full page paper about that. But overall, my experience with that was really good. And it really brought me to going to some different things, some different campus activities that I otherwise would have skipped because they're on Zoom and I don't really like sitting through Zooms, but I had a good time and a good experience in that class as well. And I'm taking it again this, quarter but this quarter I'm actually having like an undergrad and graduate mentor and we're supposed to be working on something together I'm still not exactly sure what that is 
Um, but yeah, those were all the classes I took. I took math. Math 20 is calculus. It's part of their calculus series. And I decided even though I took BC in high school that I wanted to go back and like retake calc. I don't know calc. I still don't know calc. Um, and so I wanted to go back and retake calculus also because I'm a little scared of high level math classes. And so I'd rather take those at my own free will rather than be forced to take them because I needed math credits for my major. So I'm taking those classes now. I'm taking calculus now and then I'll be taking vector calculus next quarter but yeah that is overall the classes I took last quarter it went perfectly fine I have above a 4.0 so I'm doing great I'm very happy with what I got uh, I was taking a lot of units and they went successfully and that's like all I can ask for honestly I didn't think I really didn't think they were gonna go that well and they ended up going way better than I thought so I was super happy with that. Winter quarter plans. I've been avoiding taking a lot of like design classes and the ones like entrepreneurial classes because I'm a little bit scared of like wasting those experiences by taking them through Zoom rather than in person where like the collaborative classes I feel like won't be the same experience and I won't get the full potential out of the class. So um, with my winter quarter plans, let me just pull up my schedule so I can tell you guys really quick. I'm taking CS 107, which is the next course in the in my CS plan. I am taking the Edges class again, EHJS. I am taking Math 21, as I said, ENGR 40M. That is one of the classes I was trying to avoid. It's an intro to making class, but unfortunately, like, I mean, I was spending hours yesterday trying to figure out what other class I could take instead, and they're either full or taken or not for this quarter. So I really didn't have any other choice if I wanted to take as many units as I'm taking. So I am in that class. I like unenrolled, re-enrolled like five different times. And then I was super excited this morning. There was this one class, it is a design class. It is mechanical engineering design class. It's only two units. It's just like a drawing intro. And it was completely full last night when I checked and one space opened this morning. And so I'm enrolled in it, it's ME 110. And I'm super excited about that class because it just it, it's only once a week. It's on Thursday, I have no other classes on Thursday. So that's like the only thing I have to show up to. Seems really fun and I'm excited for that class. But here's basically what Stanford did this winter quarter. So on this weekend, they sent out an email to students and said, it was like on Saturday, they said, we're not bringing back freshmen anymore. This is, mind you, two days before the quarter starts, two weeks before they told kids that they were gonna get to come back. I'm back because I have an exception to be on campus sooner, um, but they told kids, oh my. but back in December, when everybody was originally gonna move in at the date that I did, they told people that like, we're gonna move in, grad students, everybody with an exception on first at this original date, and everybody else you're gonna move in two weeks later. And when they said that, I had a whole conspiracy theory. I was like, they're gonna say that so they can tell kids right when the quarter begins, right when the leave of absence deadline is hitting, that they are no longer going to come to campus. And it's going to trap a lot of people into a decision where now they don't have housing on campus, but they're still stuck in their classes because the leave of absence deadline is Monday, which is today. And so people had 48 hours to decide, like, are you gonna go through with this quarter? Or even though there's going to be no on-campus experiences whatsoever, you're not going to move into the dorms. Um, and a lot of people are in a really, really sticky situation at the moment. I've communicated with a lot of my friends and nobody I, I've talked to is happy with the administration or happy with this quarter so far. A lot of people are really hopeful that we'd be able to have some on-campus experience, even though we were moving in two weeks late, the quarter was already starting, that maybe once our quarantine was done, the university had said, oh, we'll probably do some like in-person stuff it's po if it's possible. We, But we knew all the way back in December, like when people moved out for fall, the pandemic was still going. Cases in the Bay were increasing every single day and the exact same trend that we're in right now was happening back in December. So like, it's not as if the conditions have changed in any way to make it so they had to reevaluate their plan. Editors know, and the most messed up part about that too, is the fact that they told people that by December 14th, that would be the final plan. Like they promised people, we're not gonna change our plan after December 14th. Like you will know what's going to happen and we're not gonna backtrack on that on this date. And they told people, you're gonna move in. I mean, literally they gave people two weeks in fall quarter. That's literally what they did. They told people two weeks before move in that they were moving in and they did it again to people in winter quarter. And it's just, it's kind of messed up. It's not just kind of messed up. It's really messed up because they knew ahead of time. These conditions have persisted. 
And this reevaluation was done purposefully and calculated at this point in time, specifically, I think, so kids had to come to this really, really difficult decision on this day where they start classes. But besides that, like I'm living on campus, there's rumors going around that they're gonna consolidate the dorms, which also pisses a lot of people off because they deconsolidated all of us out of the graduate housing because they wanted to make more money by bringing more students back onto campus. And so they spread everybody out, made us all store our stuff over break in storage bins, gave us no help moving ourselves back in across, like the campus is large, it's a 12 mile campus. And they said like, take your dolly and you gotta drag it a mile across campus if you have to, and you gotta move yourself back in. And then on Saturday, which is the last day of move in, they told people, we might consolidate you all again. We don't know what that means. Um, we don't know where, we don't know when, but if they're trying to move me out of this dorm room and it took me 10 hours to set this up, they're gonna have to evict me first. I'm not moving myself out of here until 10 weeks are over. So that's that. they made that decision and we were all strongly against that decision and now they need the repercussions of it and they shouldn't be making us pay for those. So that is my thoughts on winter quarter. Then moving on to my summer internships. So last Last week, I had my interview at Google. I am interviewing for the Google STEP program. I'll find out about that in a couple weeks. I do have a secured internship at Amazon for the summer. So it, depending on which one I choose or if I get Google, I will have the option between Amazon, which is offering a hybrid experience, or Google, which is a completely virtual experience for the summer. I'm not really sure which one I'll take yet. I'm also trying to live on campus over the summer because I'm allowed to do five units during my flex quarter. That's what they're calling break this time. And so because I'm able to do five units and my internship would be in the Bay, I would prefer to just live on campus. It'd be much easier to stay on campus and freshmen are going to be on campus this summer. So that concludes my plans, my first quarter review and my second quarter preview. Again, thank you all for watching. I have a lot of videos that I've either filmed or plan to film that will be released coming out this quarter, next quarter, and whenever I get to it, honestly. Again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Update. I'm sitting here in my dorm room. I just got done with the first, like, introduction of all my classes. Not even all of them, actually. Just three of them today. And um, I already am feeling my mental capacity breaking, um, shattering, if you will, into pieces. And I'm not sure I can take it. So I think, I think I'm gonna drop my engineering class. I already took 106B, but I think I'm gonna take 106A just for fun. Like I never learned Python in high school and I can do it. Like if you ask me to code something in Python, I can, but I never learned it. So I'm going to go and learn it. And I just I cannot do this engineering class. I can't. I, just, I just can't do it. It just gave me white New Balance vibes. Like I literally don't know any other way to describe it but that. But it was not good. So by ENGR40M, I'm unenrolling.